The other inhibitor that I talked about, as you've alluded, is the structure um, of, of global agriculture, which is based on subsidies. Um, it is not that the farmer in Europe is more productive than you, but what it is is that they have access to European Union subsidies. It's not that the American farmer is it's a better farmer than our farmer here, but they have access to U.S. Um, uh, government subsidies. Not only do they have access to subsidies, they have access to all the support infrastructure at a very delivered at very high quality. Um, and that is what we are lacking. So you are a farmer. Um, you produce. And you, let's say that the crop that you produce is okra. Where do you store, how do you store your okra when you harvest? What I saw in my village is we dry it. You dry it. Just, just that. And, the, and, and that's all that it, that's there, all. there is. So you see, the infrastructure for many of the agricultural products that we, 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 you know, we grow and, and, and harvest in this country is simply not there. The technology to allow you to, to store or um, uh, convert your okra, your garden egg, your tomato, your pepper, your onion, just is not there. And because these things are not there, the person who is sitting in Europe can grow their tomato, can it, and bring it here. They've already enjoyed subsidies when they produce. They enjoy subsidies when they export. And then they land it here sell it at a, a, know, cheap, a cheap price, mm -hmm. and collect all their subsidies to make up their income. We are here. We have been told by the World Bank, cut all subsidies because you cannot afford it. So I say in my paper that, fine, assuming that we cannot afford subsidies, it still does not mean that we cannot find the money because we find the money to import rice. So if you are going to, to say that, I will levy you when you will bring in that agricultural produce to use it to support uh, insurance for the farmer because insurance is expensive.